So all morning we have been talking about fires and we wanted to get a little perspective on how it's been comparing to previous years. So Einar Jensen with South Metro Fire is joining us this morning. Thanks so much for your time, Einar. We appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help out. Yeah, you know, we first off want to just just to start with, you know, these back to back fires. We know firefighters are are bracing for longer wildfire seasons. I mean, how are you guys holding up at South Metro? What's that wear and tear like? Wildfire season, it's important to remember the wildfire season is January 1st to December 31st. Every day there's no snow on the ground and it's been that way for years. I just think we're more aware as the public and as the media, we're more aware of all these fires and these fires tend to be growing. They tend to be starting near population centers. But I think all overall, as the previous interviews have shown, firefighters are ready, they're trained, they're equipped, and they know that uh, going forward, we could have more fires every year. You know, this morning we were just talking about, we, we were talking about so many that have been breaking out across the state already and in April. So how is it comparing to previous years? Is it more? Are we on track with what we've seen before? before? Again, I think that it's more that we're more aware of these wildfires and these wildfires are occurring closer to neighborhoods, closer to communities. But the National Interagency Fire Center did predict an above average uh, wildfire season for at least the eastern part of Colorado uh, and then normal for the rest of Colorado. Now, it's hard to say, are we going to be at the 1,000 fires per year, 1,500 fires per year? We'll just have to see how that goes. I know I've talked to South Metro before about the wildland urban interface that you were mentioning, and we have a lot of Coloradans who live in that now just based off of the way our neighborhoods are being built and cost of living pushing us further out from the city. Uh, are you seeing people taking it seriously? Are they actually doing that mitigation work around their house? We find that many of our residents are doing mitigation. Many of the land managers are doing mitigation, but I'd like us to think that everybody in Colorado is part of that wildland urban interface. The Marshall Fire showed us that wildfires can burn into cities. And of course, other fires have shown us that too. Embers can travel miles and miles downwind of that wildfire. So regardless of where you live or which ecosystem you live in in Colorado, not only are you in a wildfire prone ecosystem, but today is also a great day to mitigate. You get done with those Easter egg hunts or whatever you're doing on Easter, that family time, go out and clean out your gutters. Go out and remove some branches, some lower branches from the trees, take out a juniper or two. We all have to do our part. You know, we have been talking about the wind being a huge factor and how dry it's been. We know what the immediate effect is for the fires that are burning right now. But what about the next couple of months? What about the next year? What does that mean for our fire departments? What it means for our fire departments is that wildfire is here to stay. And so we can rely on firefighters to do their part, but we also have to rely on ourselves as property owners to do our part. It takes all of us. Community risk reduction is based on community and collaboration. So it's critical that we all take responsibility, not just for how we use fire, how we have heat sources around our properties, but again, to do that mitigation and honestly, to support your local firefighters, your uh, local building departments, the planners, the, the uh, water use people, we all need to be into this together. Yeah, we're just about out of time, but I do want to ask, you know, as someone who's a new homeowner with a neighborhood backing up against an open grassy land area, right? Where do I start? I mean, is there, who do I turn to to get some advice on how to mitigate our houses? You can certainly turn to the Colorado State Forest Service, your local county, your local fire department. They all have uh, experts who can help you out. Talk to your neighbors. And then uh, easy things you can do, clean out your gutters. Everywhere you see dead leaves or dead needles around your home, clean that up because that's where the embers are going to land. And there's lots of great resources online as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is such useful information. We appreciate your time. It is now 824.